Hello and welcome to the quick tutorial on how to make your own textures for the Source SDK and import them into Hammer Editor. In order to complete this tutorial, you will have to download these files from the description. A texture image is not included, you will have to find that on your own. And you can use almost any file type. To make texture editing a lot easier and quicker, right click on this one, go to Properties and change the program this opens with to Notepad. That way you will only have to double click this in the future. Open up the VTF edit folder which you downloaded from the description. And this is the image that I want to make into a texture. And I have chosen a simple brick block from Super Mario. Just drag and drop this image into the VTF edit and it will open up. Just press OK and your texture is created. Press File, Save As and I will name this brick underscore block and I will save it to the desktop. You can now close the VTF edit along with everything else. And this is your texture and this is your image which you can throw away because we don't need it anymore. We will now create a material file so the hammer editor can find our texture. Open up the VMT example with notepad. This file includes a little bit of code, but nothing too advanced. These are the two main lighting types. The light map generic is commonly used on brush faces, and the vertex lit generic is commonly used on models. So I will use the light map generic. And here we will type in the location of our texture file relative to the materials folder. So we are going to make a folder inside the materials folder called pb underscore textures and my texture name is brick underscore block and finally I will change the surface prop to brick. This will change the sound and the gibbs produced by the brushes that uses this texture. And now we're done so save as and give it the same name as your texture. Now click on this box and choose all files and give the file name the extension dot vmt and save it to your desktop. Now create a folder called finish textures and put both your files into that folder. Open it up and I also need to create a folder called pb underscore textures where I will place both my vtf and my vmt. Now to import these into hammer editor go to my computer local disk Program Files, Steam, Steam Maps, Username, and the game you are mapping for. I will choose Half-Life 2. Press HL2 for Half-Life 2 and go to the Materials folder. This is where I will put the PB textures and I already got it there, but that doesn't matter because I don't have this texture in that. I'm gonna overwrite everything and now it's done. Open up Hammer Editor. First of all make sure you have the correct game selected when you open the Hammer Editor and then just double click to open it. Create a new map and then browse for your texture. Just type in the name and it will show up. Here it is. I'm going to select it and create a new brush. And this is what it will look like in game. Not quite good, so I'm going to fit the texture to the surface. There we go. And now I want to see plenty of textures out there, so go ahead and make some, because if you don't, the companion cube will haunt you forever. <laughs> 